What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to boost the FPS of any game, whether it be Minecraft, CSGO, League of Legends, anything you name, I'm going to be teaching you how to optimize your PC to get the maximum frames per second so you can run any game smoothly. So we're going to want to download two things. The first is going to be CCleaner, which you can get from ccleaner.com or pureform.com slash ccleaner. And the second thing we're going to need is Razer Game Booster. Now, to get this, just go on razorzone.com slash cortex slash game dash booster. And once you have both of these softwares downloaded, they're both free, you can move on to the next step. All right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is deleting all temporary files that are running in our applications and on our computer. Now, deleting these temporary files will allow more of the RAM to be used towards the games and not be wasted on these files that we no longer need. So once you have CCleaner downloaded, you just want to open it up and using it is really, really simple. It shows you windows and applications. So under the windows tab, it's just going to show you everything that it's going to delete. So it's going to empty the recycle bin. It's going to delete recent documents and the cache and the cookies and the history and stuff we don't need. And then if you go to applications, it's going to be cleaning the cache and history of some of the applications that you may have on your computer. So just go ahead and check everything you want removed and it's going to delete all the temporary files once you click on Run Cleaner. So I'm going to click on it and just click OK. And it's going to just remove everything here. Okay, so once CCleaner has finished running, it's going to remove all the temporary files as well as delete all the unnecessary and unwanted programs you wanted. Now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the Razer Cortex Game Booster and you're going to see the Games tab. Now here you just want to add all the games you have. You can do this by dragging the games onto the actual application or going to this plus button then clicking Browse and adding your games from there. Now what this thing does, this software does, is it has something called the Boost feature. What Boost basically does is, whenever one of these games you have in the games tab starts, it's automatically going to enable this feature, which is going to help improve your FPS. Now, what it does is, it automatically terminates all the applications you wanted to. So here you would select what you want terminated when you launch set games, so that you have more, you know, your RAM can focus more on the game. So say I accidentally have Clownfish open, what I can do is, I can check it off here. So whenever I have a game that opens and Boost turns on, it's going to terminate Clownfish. Now I can also manually click boost now, so say I was watching movies or doing something you know, intensive on my PC that's not a game, I can still press this boost, bu boost button and it's going to terminate all these programs. You can also go here and go on diagnose to run a report of your PC, go to tweak, defrag, and it also has an FPS counter, kind of like fraps, which you can also enable, and here you can select where you want it to be enabled. So after you've cleaned everything through CC Cleaner, and you have finished, you know, setting up your game booster, you will be able to run games at a higher FPS because your PC will be focusing more on the game rather than stuff that you don't need or won't be using while you're gaming. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. Uh, I think Razer Game Booster is an incredible program. I definitely recommend you look around and look through all the settings to maximize uh, the effect the effectiveness of it. But yeah, that's about it. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Ayoko, and I'm signing out.